Howdy ho everybody. <clears throat> Just got done with the fixtures and the cabinetry in the master bath. The absolute easiest way to begin elevating things is to start dropping tags, really. Um, so I'm going to click on my view menu <clears throat> and I'm going to click on elevation. Now instead of using a building elevation, I want an interior elevation. That's going to put a new category of elevation symbols down over here. So you see building elevations. Once we start placing these interior elevations, they'll show up right over here. I'm going to zoom in. Now, see the direction the arrow is pointing? That's because, the closest, that's because that's the direction of the closest wall. I want the arrow to point the other direction, so I just move my cursor until that arrow flips. Then I left click and I place that tag. <coughs> okay? It's basically that easy. I'm going to click escape a couple of times. I'm going to highlight my tag. I want to move my tag so he's a little more visible. Pull him out to about there. There we go. That's looking better. <clears throat> now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to I'm actually going to select the, the pointer end of my tag. You see this blue line? This blue line indicates the section cut for this elevation. So an eleva all an elevation is is a special kind of section. Uh, so this is all looking pretty good. But you can see this dashed line extends all the way out here. This is how far in, how deep that Revit is looking for the, this particular elevation. I don't need to look any deeper than that wall. So I'm just going to drag him back to here. There we go. There's an elevation. Now, we are going to place an elevation tag here, but we need to actually place the elevation tag in the downstairs bathroom first. I'll show you why in, when after we do it. So, ground floor. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in on this bathroom. I'm going to move this tag out of the way. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the elevation, the interior elevation. If I expand this out right now, it just says elevation 1A. <clears throat> I actually want this to be more descriptive because this text is what shows up on the drawing title when we place it on the sheet. So I'm going to highlight it, rename, turn my caps lock on, master bath elevation. There we go. Back to placing an elevation tag. Now it remembers the last thing we did, so it already says interior elevation, and move him down. See, the arrow is pointing the direction I want it to. Left click to place the tag. Click escape a couple of times. So we have another elevation 1A. Well, right click, rename, and this I'm just going to call bath elevation. <clears throat> I'm going to highlight my tag. I'm going to drag him out of the way just so he's movable, or just so he's uh, readable, just like that. That'll do. And just like we did with the last, uh, the, the last elevation tag, I'm going to click on the, the pointer here. If I can get to it. There it is. Okay. See that blue line? See how it's actually like going through the nose of the toilet? This is a 3D toilet, which means in this elevation, if we go look at it right now, it's going to show up as having its nose chopped off. It looks a little funny. So I'm going to highlight that line. And I'm going to use my arrow keys. I'm just going to nudge that line up until he's no longer cutting through the toilet. Zoom back out. <clears throat> Change the depth. There we go. Now the cool thing about this, now that we've got this elevation established, when we were creating our second floor bathroom, it's an exact duplicate. And as a matter of fact, this other bathroom is an exact duplicate. They're all the same bathroom. So when I go to place this elevation tag, the very first thing that I do is say, I'm referencing another view. So I'm in interior elevations, and I want to reference another elevation that I've already been, uh, drawn up, established, whatever. Use my drop down. I want the bath elevation. So when I place my view tag, I, I certainly want to make sure that he's pointing in the right direction. But notice how it already says bath elevation. Well, that S-I-M up there means that this is similar to the other elevation. It's, it's just a part of Revit. It's nothing that we have to, to think about doing. It's kind of hard-coded in there. I'm going to move that. Let's try and get some readability in here. Now, you notice if I highlight 
the pointer of my elevation. There is no blue line running through here because I'm not cutting a brand new elevation. It's actually referencing my other, my other interior elevation. So I'm going to zoom back and I'm going to do the same thing in this bathroom. Click elevation, reference another view, drop down. This one's also looking at bath elevation. Put that there, and then just drag him back so that he's sort of kind of readable. Now I realize all that text there is kind of obscuring and obliterating what's happening here in the uh, in the floor plan. Sometimes we can't escape these things. Sometimes it is just what it is. <clears throat> so we've got the bath elevation, the master bath elevation. All we're missing now are the kitchen elevations. <clears throat> So one more elevation, put it right there, click escape a couple of times. Now what we're doing here that's different, is I am going to move this back so hopefully it's a little more readable. You see how it's got all these questions and all these check boxes around it? I'm going to make another elevation pointer on the same elevation tag by turning that checkbox on. So there we go, one elevation tag and it's pointing in both directions. So elevation 1A, this one says elevation 1A, right click, rename, kitchen elevation. Elevation 1C, right click, rename, fat fingers, kitchen island. <clears throat> All right, so that's placing our tags for our interior elevations. <clears throat> So before I actually go editing any of the, uh, the data in my elevation views, I'm going to highlight all four of these. I held down my control key so I can select them all at once. I'm going to change my view scale to a half inch, and I'm going to change my detail level to fine. All right. <clears throat> We've placed our tags. We've got some basic parameters for our view set. Uh, that'll be it for now. The next video, we're going to show some unfortunately necessary edits that we need to do to our elevations to get them to show up properly. It's a glitch in, in Revit and it's just something that we'll have to do. Um, as you can tell, it's Wednesday. It is 6.08. Unfortunately, I have an appointment that I need to keep and I will have these videos, uh, they're just a couple more videos posted and I'll have those done uh, by this evening. So thank you very much for your patience. I will see you guys in the next video.